right, it's time to talk some baseball because the winter meetings are over. They have come, they have gone. The Cubs got Cody Bellinger, solid one-year risk, but his numbers were worse than Jason Hayward, so let's just pump the brakes. And Jason, Jamison Tyone, who's like a number three, four, five starter. That's Ryan McGuffey. He's the head of the White Sox content team. I'm not sure the White Sox knew the meeting started. I don't know why they went. <laughs> I mean... What's you could going have, on you, in this time? You could have productive conversations these days in a lot of different ways, as we've known from the Just pandemic. Zoom and save the expense money. I mean, the, what, the, the most disappointing thing about the White Sox, not that they didn't spend, it's that they came out and admitted it before the meeting started. They said that they have to let the market dictate what happens before they can start talking trades. Correct me if I'm wrong. From the, in 2016, when they started this rebuild, wasn't this supposed to be the parade window? And that's not the word we used. Parades. They used it. We weren't told, do you guys look at a win a World Series? Multiple. Multiple championships. Multiple championships. You know, and we're celebrating back-to-back -back playoff berths in 20 and 21. It's extremely disappointing. White Sox fans should be upset. Because at this point, the best free agent acquisition that the White Sox are going with is hope for health. Hope that the guys that they invested in can come back and be the guys that they invested in in years past. The Luis Roberts, the Aloya Menezes, and the Yoan Mankatas have to hit anyway. But there were, yes, yesterday, Rick Hahn was talking about the 34-year-old knees of Yasmani Grandal and how he's healthy and he's going to be a good catcher. He hasn't been a good catcher in a few years. He's not getting better. It's really frustrating, Cap. And I think you're seeing it all over social, which is not always the best barometer always to, to figure out you know, what's the true sense of, of in the pulse of a fan base. But right now, I think frustration and, and, and sadness and all of the things that come with it should be what people are talking about right now because this is not what fans were promised. It's not what fans were promised when the White Sox rebuild started. It's not. And on the Cubs front, they have money to spend. They have nothing but money to spend. And the same amount of money that they're spending on Tyone and Cody Bellinger to the dollar. Rizzo Contreras. Now, again, Anthony Rizzo wasn't coming back here, and for whatever reason, they have their issues with Wilson Contreras. He just signed with your arch rival, who, by the way, won the division. So what are we doing here? And what's interesting is, like, you can pick apart both rebuilds and actually find ways that made a lot of sense. Obviously, the Cubs did it by building a great farm system and winning with those guys and not locking any of them up. That, it, the, the ones that got away is basically what happened with the Cubs. They locked up no one. Except Hendricks. Except for Hendricks. The White Sox get in front of it. They acquire the guys. They lock them up, and they add no one. The reason you lock guys up is so when they're actually on, like, hitting at their all-star peak, that you're adding pieces like Bryce Harper and Manny Machado and other studs along the way to supplement your roster and make yourself a contending team. Look at the lineup in San Diego right now. Yeah, has it led to a World Series yet? No, but their owner lost out on Trey Turner. He had the highest bid. They lost out on Aaron Judge. They had the highest bid. And you know what he did to A.J. Preller? He picked up the phone and he said, go get the next one. And we're not doing that in Chicago. We're not doing it on either side of town. Well said. I mean, folks... It is what it is. We can talk all we want that we are the best sports city in America. It's my home. It's his home. Love being a Chicagoan. Our owners have got to step up and go, you know what? Let's be maniacal about one thing, winning championships. We haven't seen that. And it's disappointing as a fan. <laughs> like, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. By the way, San Diego is a small market. All they keep doing is adding on. This is Chicago, folks. Demand more. Be better. Fair enough? I can't say it better than that. It's not personal. It's business.